Hey there, this is K4A, Knowledge for All Educational Video Channel. In today's video, we are going to continue to learn Game Maker Studio 2 drag and drop actions. And uh, to be more precise, in today's video, we are going to try to learn action which is called randomize. And this one will help us to solve the problem which we have made in previous video. Uh, if you have watched the previous video, we have a uh, added some kind of uh, get random number uh, action and it works uh, but not as we supposed to it always when the game starts it always gives us the same number it's number five and i think it would be uh, much much more natural if it would if it would give us some other numbers because it that would uh, be like if you I play the dice in casino and all it all it's rigged it always give you same number no one would play that game unless uh, you can bet a number five and win every time like that in the same group of uh, actions which is called uh, random uh, the second from the left uh, which is called randomize you have description of it it says create a new random seed used by the random number generator and that's exactly what it does so as i said in previous video game maker studio and other game engines are not uh, actually uh, giving you a random number when you use their default uh, uh, random number generators in terms of uh, um, mathematics statistics probability and so on uh, so you have to uh, they are they um, as the computers they only show up what they are learned to do so you have to give them different variations different combination different uh, uh, um, how it's called uh, streaks of uh, data streams of data uh, and the numbers so they will uh, fake it they will uh, uh, show up different numbers every time so it's like seeding it's like feeding them with different uh, stre uh, streams of uh, number data and then uh, every time the random number generator will pick uh, some other stream uh, and uh, that will look randomized so all you have to do is drag and drop uh, this randomize action into your event in our case it's create event because we want to do that only once and uh, that's it uh, all the data all the uh, magic is done behind uh, the curtains it's under the hood you don't see it which is great and uh, the this way the game maker studio tells the uh, this event uh, to randomize first and uh, like sh shuffle the cards shuffle the numbers and then when I say get the random number, which is the second statement, the second action, it will actually pick a different number every time. So let's see that in action, uh, it will pick a number between one and six. Uh, okay, so it already works. We see it's now three and last time it was always five. So uh, the first one is three. The second one is four and so on so every time you uh, start the game it will start with different numbers uh, this is uh, great for uh, uh, lots of stuff uh, and i will use maybe instead of uh, one and six we are not going to represent the dice but the coins so let's try to say like uh, which amount of coin should be here on the screen like from five to fifteen coins so let's see what will show up so first time for example when you open a chest you will get seven coins and another time when you start the game you will get 14 which is great that's a big difference and that's it so the whole idea here is that you don't forget to put randomized number uh, if you use some kind of choose or get random number actions so put it uh, somewhere in your game uh, the best way is po probably the create event uh, but again let's uh, I will uh, now right click on it to disable it and to disable it and now I will copy it and I will try to add it into draw just to show up 
uh, what I'm not sure if this will work in draw it should draw event is working like pretty much like uh, step event it works like 30 or 60 times per second so uh, if I uh, put this randomize or get random number into the draw event or create event now it will uh, it will uh, just turn the number all the way it won't stop it will just uh, rotate them and change them and it will happen forever so we won't get one number but uh, a zillion numbers rotating yeah i get even a, i get even a error because i'm not supposed to do that okay we have learned that again so i'm going to use step event and i'm going to use this get random number into the step so uh, i'm just trying to show you what uh, sometimes what kind of errors you will make like uh, when you for example uh, drag and drop some action in a different event uh, like this get random number instead of adding it like we first did uh, correctly into the create event uh, i have now disabled it but it was first in create event and if you don't do that but you drag and drop it accidentally into the step event this is what you will get and this is this six minutes okay and this is what um, how you can check what step event does and this is what i was explaining earlier so uh, a create event this does this only once so it get a random number it says okay this is a random number and that's it that's it from me i don't uh, uh, work anymore but step event is not st uh, stopping it's like your brain it's like your height heart it's like pumping and pumping and working 60 times per second or 30 or however is, uh, your frame rate is so if you say uh, uh, to game maker uh, to do something in step event he will try to do it 60 times in, uh, in, in a second so in this uh, concrete example i'm telling game maker okay uh, give me a number a random number and give it to me 60 times per second and that's exactly what game maker is doing here and that's uh, how you can uh, sometimes check what uh, you are doing wrong in your games and where the errors are because if you have some uh, crazy uh, stuff like this on your screen where something which is uh, instantiating like crazy or uh, imagine if instead of getting a random number if I'm uh, spawning an enemy that would be crazy difficult for a uh, for, um, player to kill all, all of those so you have to be careful and that's the uh, second uh, thing which we have learned here for this uh, lesson in this video uh, be careful where you put your actions uh, in uh, yeah where you put your actions in um, in which event in our case we have used create event and that's where we want our get random number to be so it's five and uh, and now it will be 13 great so this works and uh, it's uh, our game is starting to grow slowly but for sure that's it for this video thanks for watching and i hope i will see you uh, in next one bye for now